up. So we're going to pull out a deck we haven't used in a while. The Guardian of the Night Tarot. That's right. Fuzzy time. The animals. All right. So the reason why... Well, clearly I was having pictures and images and I kept thinking about this deck. So I figured... What's up? Let's see what's good. What's going on? Rain. Rain. All right. So first and foremost, praise to the most high for giving us another day, as you see beautiful outside thought it was gonna be a little uh rainy today i don't know but uh bonus message but uh you already know we're highly favored and protected meaning know what the form shall prosper and we're highly favored did i say that already because we are so let's just get straight to it all right let's see what's going on in the ethers all right We'll get to the bonus message in a minute. I'm a little nervous. All right. Influence in the read. Bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. Hmm. Looks like he has a bright idea. He's definitely receiving some sort of download. I like it. All right. You already know. An alpha. The leader of the pack. All right. It looks like he's feeling a bit left out when it pertains to his Ten of Cups. All right. Looks like he's ready to... He's just chilling right now, but... Looks like he may have had some transformation when it comes to this passionate journey that he's on. That's his wand there. All right. But I definitely see a lot of birds around him. A lot of info to mess going on around him. I'll leave that at the bottom of the deck. Bonus message at this time. Queen of Cups. I don't know if that was in the upright or the reverse, but we're going to read in the upright. Queen of Cups. Looks like she's taking her cup of love to the very bottom of the sea. Possibly when it pertains to this King of Wands guy. Mm, what's going on here? What's going on here? Let's see what's going on. Okay. So it looks like this Queen of Cups no longer is giving to this particular King of Wands. That's right. That's right. Okay. It looks like she has faced her fears and is moving forward. Okay, with that being said, she's definitely released whatever heartbreak, whatever sadness, whatever sorrow that it that comes with that, and moved her cup to the very bottom of the sea. Mm, ocean, depths, okay. The hanged man and the judgment. Feels like an opposing energy who may be seeing things differently, want to come in and transform or reconcile. It looks like they may have shed some skin and was able to grow. You know, when sh snakes shed their skin, they're growing, all right? No, they don't have legs and all that, but they're, they're actually growing. Okay, so it looks like somebody's hit some sort of transformation. They're seeing things differently. Maybe this is them who's ready to face their fears. Right, because if I'm not mistaken, they are definitely predators, right? Six of Pentacles, Reciprocity, Fair Exchange, Two of Pentacles under that. All right, so they want to give. They want to come forward. All right, they want another chance at this verdict. They want to transform this energy. Okay, definitely. Doubling down on that with the reconciliation all right so they're very much aware that she's been hurt very much aware that they inflicted the pain okay as you've seen with the king of wands he was sitting back watching everything as if he was waiting stalking Knight of swords this communication that needs to be had but i don't know we'll talk about that seven of pentacles so it's been some time all right so it's been some time since the close of this cycle apparently Seven of Pentacles, the world, and the Ace of Swords. So I guess it gave her ample amount of time to actually heal from the situation, right? That sounds good to me. All right, the High Priestess. Yeah, she, so she went into solitude and she began to work on her own hurdles. All right, now the Beaver is a very steady worker. All right, once the project started, it could take them years, decades, but they're going to consistently work till it's completed and finished. All right, Eight of Pentacles, very hard work and energy, blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, so looks like she hit the high priestess. A little bit of silencio on them. Worked on some sort of spiritual practices. The bat's very spiritual. All right, and they're also, uh, como se dice, e, um, masters of the subtle realms. Feel me? Okay, all right, okay. Not of swords. That's that other energy wanting to come back around. So she went into some sort of spiritual healing journey where she was able to release the pain from the situation. Four of Wands. Okay, we know who that is. The Emperor. Alright. And the Hierophant. Okay, so... King of Pentacles definitely wants to heal the situation. Alright, he's looking into the sunset. 
he's gazing now with the back card, if I'm not mistaken. In order to bring in the balance, you need to stare at the sunrise, which that kind of looks like. That's what might be going on. That may be what's going on over here with this energy because they're not speaking. All right. But definitely gaining some sort of wisdom. All right. All right. Let's talk about it. Four of Wands and the Emperor. Wanting to come back around and have a, a reunion. All right. They've definitely transformed. All right. They're definitely another energy. And now. Instead of just the king of wands or king of swords, they're an emperor. They master all the kings within the deck. Every single king in order to be this divine leader. All right? The Hierophant. But this landed over here with the death card. Will you forgive this energy? I'm seeing a lot of marriage as well. But will you be forgiving this energy? It looks like you were their teacher and they had to take note. Possibly they were even fighting it. All right? Okay, so we have the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine in the 5D. Looks like they're already in cahoots. They're already doing their thing. They're already minding their beeswax, which is probably why the Divine Feminine is actually at peace by herself, because she has his energy already around him. And his person is chaotic. I feel that. Like Avatar person. Six of Wands. Oh, challenge position. Boom. Okay, so there's an opportunity for the situation to spin back around. Meaning, if you want this, you can put the work in. It looks like you'll definitely be victorious. Coming across as a champion. Everybody knows King Julian. Feel me? Yeah, yeah. Everybody loves King Julian. All right, so you feel me? You can be the king of the lemur pack. The lemur squad. That can be you. If you choose to have this. There's free will. That's a thing too. Challenge position. I don't know what this card is. The knight of wands. I knew that. Okay, the knight of wands. You're questioning what would be victorious, or are we going to migrate? No, I'm just kidding. But um, what's up with them reckless ways of the past? Are they truly gone? What's going on with that? Do you know how to control that passion? Do you know how to maintain it? What, what's going on with the passion? So we got here, King of Pentacles. All right, it looks like he's calmed that down. He's very much stable. He's now a mature king, co a mature, committed king. All right, reliable, consistent, dependable, all the wonderful things, a great partner. All right, and it looks like, his higher self may be leading him to present his five pentacles. Mm. Now, I'm sure it means something when birds spread their wings like that. The moon. I wanted to say divine feminine. Two of swords. So we don't know which way this is going to go. Things are still hidden. All right. Things are definitely still hidden right now. So we're not 155% sure what's going to happen in the situation. She already released the situation, the pain, everything that comes with it. So she's on to better and brighter days these days. You feel me? So, yeah. I'm just being real, Z. I don't want you looking at me like we look at those people out there. Come on now. Yeah, I'm having a tower too. I don't freaking know. What are we going to do? All right, I'm just the reader. It's not really my problem. But tower moment. This energy has transformed into be real, Z. You've never actually dealt with this energy because we face many deaths throughout our whole life right ego the childhood trauma you know our parental issues that we held on to and harbored and until we realize that you know they did the best of their abilities and now we're here and we're doing the best of our abilities and we're just going to continue to get better until we are the best versions possible all right so as we have these many deaths of during our lives the old versions of you don't exist and you kind of probably feel appalled if somebody were to bring up any of your past ways or anything right kind of like this energy they've been reborn and we've gone through major transformations and honestly i believe it has to do with everything with you pulling back both energetically and you know physically putting your money to where your mouth is ten of pentacles you have the potentiality to not only be successful possibly have some sort of fame and recognition but to create some sort of generational wealth, something that's very lavish and comfortable. So as you can see, the bees are all about abundance. Now, remember, abundance isn't always just money, cars and things. Abundance could actually be the fact that everything in your life is good to go, right? You don't have to want a need for anything. Everything is on auto pay. Now, you may not have a Maserati, but you got two paid off cars that are in very good shape. You know what I mean, each one of your children has a guest room and you have an office on top of your own bedroom. And two living rooms like you know what i mean all right kids they have plans they're going to college one wants to go to the military because he's thinking whatever and you're supportive ten of pentacles all right or it could just be the cars club all that other stuff that's why personally i'm a cut person you feel me 
we can share a little bit. You feel me? We, as long as we all at the games together, that's all that matters. You feel me? As long as we all support. Where's your t-shirt at, homie? Oh, you got another stain on it? I'm going to talk to your mother about that type of stuff. You feel me? Ten of Anywho, the potentiality for you guys to have something awesome that most people, muggles, dream about is here. All right? Let's keep going. We got, we got a bunch going on over here. We got a bunch going on. All right. So we have somebody spacing their fear. All right. As you can see, they transformed. And now they're truly stepping up. In the middle of the snake and the mouse is a heart, right? Hold up. Let's do this. Boop, boop. There's a little heart, right? So that's between the two. King of Cups is ready to present his cup, present his love. Mm. I got deep quick. I didn't expect that. So that he can heal this and move forward to brighter days. All right. And we got two two cards in my lap. You feel me? That's what we got going on over here. <laughs> and the Queen of Wands is just chilling in hermit mode, matching the King of Wands from the beginning. All right. Now she's comfortable, laid back. All right. She too has her wand. She too has many ancestors around her. She's very beautiful, very poised. And it looks like her messenger is telling her when and how to use her wand. So when necessary, she'll receive a message on how and when to move. Mm, that's right here in the corner. I just thought I was popping, you feel me? But nonetheless, it looks like she's very much in hermit mode. Chilling, healing, suppressing things that don't serve her, transmuting that, and purging. Getting rid of it. All right. Okay. Hold up. We got some more going on. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm supposed to ask you this. Um, we remain calm, cool, collect. All right. Let's do this. But the King of Swords would like to know if you'll be his empress in this new beginning as you can see he sees marriage he's coming forth in his divine masculine energy you're clearly in yours and there will be communication coming soon with the delayed communications of the page of swords it seems he's still swimming upstream to get everything in order to have this conversation but his intent reciprocity to give fair exchange all right to balance things out all right stability all right management getting things in order all right as you can see the dolphins they're in tangent right beautiful to work diligently and very hard okay and honestly for this particular one i'm just reflecting on the bird i believe they sing and they uh, they collect shiny things in order to build such a beautiful nest i believe to attract their their mates Right, so it looks like they're ready to put in that necessary work. All right, and they've just been daydreaming about that. Ten of Swords, they can't, they're done thinking about this. It looks like they're ready to move forward. We got here with some sort of love offer with the one that they deem as their mate. Two of Wands, one more, one more, one more. King of Cups. So he's going to be seizing his opportunity with the Knight of Swords, bottom of the deck. He's on his way back in. You guys are mirroring each other. All right. Make up your mind so that it can come to you. Well, it's already coming to you. But be stand strong. So think about it. Process it. I know you're like, oh, my God, then I'm going to manifest it. No. Oh, my goodness. Just let it happen. I'm busy. I got a four o'clock. And then my boss wants to have a lunch date next week because we got to talk about my promotion. You feel me? I know you're busy. I know. But let's process that now so that when this text message comes on, you feel me? We're not startled while we're ordering our grilled chicken Caesar salad. You feel me? I'm just saying. So. Let's lead us right here. Praise to the most high on a beautiful union coming together. And please don't forget, you've never experienced this energy the same way this energy has never fully experienced you. All right. We transform. We evolve daily. All right. Because every day we step forward, we become a better version of ourselves, a better version of ourselves. Excuse me. So love and light to you guys. This is wonderful. I'm very happy that you were able to release the pain and the heartbreak and truly move forward and do what's best for you and heal. And, you know, when you let something go and it comes back to you, that means it's yours, right? So, love and light. Let's get out of here.